Hey, hi, welcome back to our Cisco SD1 course. In this video, let's discuss quickly about what is a certificate authority followed by the different ways in which the Cisco SD1 controllers can get their signed certificate, which they can use for their authentication purposes. Let's start. Just a moment. The playlist for this complete Cisco SD1 course is available in the description box below and also here in the cards. To encourage me, please do like, share and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell icon so my effort will reach you on time. We already know that all our controller components are only virtual devices and they will get the root CA in their OS itself. But to get a signed certificate, they need to go to a certificate authority, a CA. There is multiple options available for Cisco SD1 solution in which it can get a signed certificate. First one is automated semantic or DigiCert based signing. The next one is manual semantic or DigiCert based model. Followed by we have automated Cisco PKI based CA and manual Cisco PKI model and finally the customer owned enterprise certificate authority. Out of all these options, the current recommended option by Cisco is automated Cisco PKI certificate signing. Also some of the customers use enterprise based CA. In our video series, we will use the fifth option which is the enterprise based CA. Now let us look in detail how each of these methods will work. The first one is automated semantic or digicert model. Let me bring up my pen and show you these components which we are going to discuss about. First we do have the administrator who will be me in my lab and it will be you in your production or in your lab, right? And then we do have the vManage component and then we do have a semantic digicert server in this example. And we do also have a TAC engineer or a TAC case, right? A TAC team. Followed by that, we do have vSmart and vBond devices as well. So we are going to discuss uh, first uh, how a vManage himself is going to get a signed certificate and then how a vManage will help vSmart and vBond to get a signed certificate. So let's start. So to start off, let's assume that uh, we want to sign the vManage itself. So the administrator logs into the vManage GUI and then initiates a CSR, Certificate Signing Request. vManage will automatically submit that CSR to the Semantec or DigiCert CA server available online. For this, the vManage needs DNS resolution, successful DNS resolution and internet obviously. Okay. Third step is the administrator opens up a TAC case to get this uh, approved. The TAC engineer logs in or uh, it's a back-end process from the TAC team. So basically they just approve the CSR which is submitted by the vManage. Then the vManage retrieves the signed certificate. Um, here you might think how the vManage will know that uh, the signing is completed in the Symantec uh, or DigiCert CA server, right? There is a process in vManage. The immediate step after the step two, which is submitting the CSR, right, is we manage continuously probes to the CA server looking out for a signed certificate, whether or not the signed certificate is ready. And we can define this interval as well. Maybe when we are in the vManage page, I will walk you through that in the lab demos. This is how the vManage is able to retrieve the signed certificate. Now think, in this case, this CSR submitted is for the vManage itself. So once the signed certificate is retrieved by the vManage, he knows that the signed certificate is for himself and then the vManage will be able to successfully install that signed certificate. Moving on, vSmart and vBond should also get a signed certificates. For that, let me just back off a bit in my slide. Now the administrator initiates a CSR in the vManage GUI. But note, this time it will be either for the vSmart or vBond, not for the vManage itself, okay? Then the vManage will submit that CSR, either vSmart or vBond's CSR to the Symantec server on behalf of vSmart and vBond. Administrator opens a TAC case, the TAC team approves the CSR, vManage will be able to retrieve the signed certificate. Remember, this signed certificate is for the vBond or vSmart. Then vManage will install that signed certificate to vSmart and vBond. So this is how the process goes. Here vManage is acting kind of a proxy. So let's move to the next method. The next method is manual semantic or digicert. If you see here, we do almost have all the same components which we have seen in the earlier method. First, the administrator logs into the vManage and initiates a CSR. Again, for our discussion sake, let's say it's the CSR for the vManage itself. The administrator downloads the copy of CSR manually to his laptop. Then administrator manually submits the CSR 
to the semantic or digi search ca server if you remember in the last method we manage was able to do this step 2 and step 3 automatically but in this manual method this is how it works next the administrator opens a tag case the tag engineer approves the csr and then the administrator will receive the signed certificate if i'm right i hope the signed certificate is shared via an email to the registered mail address then the administrator will upload the signed certificate to the vmanage to e and in our case the vmanage will be able to identify that the signed certificate is for himself so he installs the signed certificate for himself now for vbond and vsmart let's back off a bit in my slide admin initiates a csr but this time it will be for the vbond or vsmart and he downloads a copy of the vbond or vsmart csr manually submits the vbond or vsmart csr to the ca server opens a tag case the tag engineer approves this and then the administrator will receive the signed certificate hopefully via the email now the administrator will log into the vmanage to e and upload the vbond or vsmart signed certificate then vmanage will be able to install those signed certificate to vbond and vsmart again here also vmanage acts as a proxy as i understand uh, where this manual methods comes in handy is uh, there might be scenarios right uh, there might be customer environment uh, where the v manage may not get internet access in those designs this will come in handy okay let's move to the next method cisco pki server automated method in this method the only big difference is we don't have a tag team involvement okay let's start with an assumption that we are going to get the v manage signed first administrator initiates a csr from the v manage gui for the v manage itself we manage submits the csr to the cisco pki server you see here it gets approved automatically in the cisco pki server we manage obviously will keep on trying to retrieve the signed certificate at one given point he will get the signed certificate once it is ready in the cisco pki server now we manage will realize that the signed certificate is for himself so he will install the signed certificate now for the vsmart and vbond i hope you would have guessed it by now i'm just going to back off a bit administrator initiates a csr for vsmart or vbond right not for the vmanage itself now vmanage will submit that vsmart or vbond csr to the cisco pki server the cisco pki server will approve that vmanage will be able to retry the signed certificate for vsmart and vbond and he will be able to render that to them as well please note this is the recommended method from cisco other methods are all supported but this is the recommended one I hope you understand by now why this is an uh, recommended method because we we do have very less steps and also most of the things are automated compared to the semantic and digital search method. Moving on to the next method, this is manual Cisco PKA server. So we may be in an environment where the vManage again doesn't have an internet access at all, and still we do want to use Cisco PKA model. Administrator initiates the CSR, downloads the copy of the CSR, and then he manually submits the CSR to the Cisco PKA server. and it gets approved once it is approved the administrator can directly download the signed certificate from the cisco pki server and he uploads it back to the vmanage if it is for the vmanage vmanage will install it on his own machine or if it is for the vbond and vsmart the vmanage will render it to them this is the final method which is enterprise certificate authority what if the customer doesn't want to use uh, either cisco or semantic or digi cert or any third party vendors uh, certificate authority instead they have their own certificate authority and they want to utilize that yes that option is also possible let us see how that works if you remember the cisco sd1 operating system does have a root certificate installed that root certificates will be for the cisco ca and as well as for the semantic and digi cert ca but if it is for an enterprise ca we need to install the root certificate onto the controllers or even if it is a vanage router we should be installing that root ca onto them because it doesn't come natively in the operating system so let's start with the first step installing the enterprise root certificate the administrator first retrieves the root certificate which is the root ca from the enterprise ca server and then he uploads it to the vmanage so we manage will have a copy for himself and also we manage again will render it to the other controllers as well this step is now done and dusted all the controllers have their required root cas now they are eligible to create a csr and submit get a signed certificate let's see how that works the administrator logs into the we manage and initiates a csr 
it can be for anyone right e manage be bound or be smart and then the administrator downloads a copy of the csr submits it to the enterprise ca enterprise ca it gets approved there and then the administrator retrieves the signed certificate the administrator will proceed further by uploading that signed certificate to the v manage now the v manage will keep the signed certificate for himself if it is for him or he will render it to the v bond and v smart if it is for them please note this enterprise ca is the method which we are going to use in our lab and we will be bringing up our own enterprise ca which is going to be xca software just for your information there is a video coming up for that but uh, in case if you are interested you can definitely go ahead google around learn that even before we bring up our videos online thanks for watching the video hope it was informative do comment below for any queries or suggestions the playlist for this complete cisco has given course is available in the description box below and also here in the cards if you want to encourage me please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you think some of your friends or colleagues will find my content or channel useful do share and also do not forget to hit the notification bell icon